welcome to real civil youtube channel uh, in this video i am going to show you how to determine the mode shape of a two degree freedom structure so first of all i will draw the structure so this is a two story structure and we are going to solve this using lumped mass method so the supports are fixed these are the two stories now the given data is uh, the mass of the top story is m by 2 and the first story is m the stiffness of the first story is k and second story is also k so here you can put any values so i am not taking any particular value okay so it will be more helpful for you so uh, let's uh, draw the solution so our first step is uh, we need to prepare the mass matrix okay uh, so it is a diagonal matrix for lumped mass it is always m1 0 0 m2 so we can say here m1 is the mass of the first story that is m then 0 0 and m2 is the mass of the second story that is m by 2 so for our calculation purpose uh, we will consider we will take common m so 1 0 0 and half okay so that is our first step second step is we have to prepare the stiffness matrix uh, which is also called as k matrix so for this type of structure lumped mass uh, it is k1 plus k2 minus k2 minus k2 and k2 so uh, the stiffness of first story will be k1 stiffness of second story will be k2 right so it will be equal to so here k1 plus k2 means k plus k it will be 2k minus k2 k2 is here k so minus k minus k and k so again uh, we will write uh, taking k common 2 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 okay now the next step is eigenvalues and eigenvector eigenvalues and eigenvector that is nothing but mod of k minus lambda m should be equal to 0 so we'll go to the next slide yes so what we have to do k minus lambda m mod is equal to 0 okay so the coefficient of k uh, was here you can see it was 2 and coefficient of mass is 1 so we will write here k coefficient of k is 2 minus lambda and m is 1 so we are not going to write the 1 here okay then next term next term is here you can see k minus lambda m so m is 0 so m into lambda will become 0 so only k term will be there and which is minus 1 here also minus 1 and now the final term will be here you can see it is 1 coefficient of k is 1 and coefficient of mass is half so k minus lambda 
m will be 1 minus lambda into 1 by 2 or we can say 1 minus lambda by 2. So I can write 1 minus lambda by 2. Because of this technique, your lot of calculation get reduced. Okay. And that is equal to 0. Now we will do the cross multiplication. So simply 2 minus lambda into 1 minus lambda by 2 minus minus 1 into minus 1. If you solve this, you will get the value lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 2 is equal to 0. So we have to solve this. We will consider A is equal to 1, B is equal to minus 4 and C is equal to 2. And to find the roots, we will use minus B plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Okay. So, uh, the coefficient a, b and c. So, if you put this, uh, we will get the value of lambda 1 equal to 2 root 2 and value of lambda 2 is 2 sorry 2 minus root 2 and 2 plus root 2 always remember first whatever root you are taking uh, it should be smaller one and second one should be larger one if there is third one it should be larger than second one so in the increment incremental way you have to determine okay so the very important step for this method is now we want to find the omega 1 that is natural frequency will be equal to you have to take the square root of lambda 1 that's it and you will get the answer so it is square root of 2 minus root 2 okay it will be equal to 0 0.765 only thing you have to do you have to multiply this term by root of k by m you will get your first natural frequency so whatever k is there whatever m is there just put the values similarly omega 2 will be equal to square root of lambda 2 that will be equal to 1.848 square root of k by m so this is the benefit of this method okay now suppose if you want to calculate the mode shape so these are the frequency here problem ends whatever k and m is there in your problem you just put the values there you will get the natural frequency omega 1 and omega 2 now we will do the calculation for the mode shape. For mode shape, we will start with smaller value that is lambda 1 is equal to 2 minus root 2. Okay. So in this method, so uh, put the value of lambda in this equation. Uh, so uh, we can start 2 okay here the matrix is 2 minus in bracket 2 minus root 2 here it is minus 1 minus 1 1 minus it was lambda by 2 that means 1 by 2 into 2 minus root 2 this term is there multiply by the mode shape that is phi 1 1 and phi 2 1 and that should be equal to 0 
so if you solve this you will get the answer that is your first mode shape 5 1 is equal to 5 1 1 and 5 2 1 will be equal to 0 0.707 and 1 so you just simply multiply this with this and this with this and equal to 0 you will and then so I will show you what I have done here so 2 minus 2 minus root 2 into 511 minus 1 into 521 is equal to 0 so this is the equation you will get then you have to assume either 511 equal to 2 equal to 1 or either 521 equal to 1 so in this case we will assume 521 equal to 1 because we are calculating the relative displacements so we will assume 521 as a 1 with respect to 1 what is the other story displacement we are here calculating okay so if you solve uh, 5 to 1 here in the equation if you put 1 you will you can find the value of 511 so this is the first mode ship that means 51 is equal to 0 0.707 and 1 similarly you can calculate lambda 2 is equal to 2 plus root 2 right so again here the value of k minus lambda m so minus 2 plus root 2 okay so we are just putting the values in this equation lambda value minus 1 minus 1 here 1 minus it was half lambda half into 2 plus root 2 multiply by 5 1 2 and 5 2 2 is equal to 0 0 you have to do the same step you have to multiply this you have to multiply this and equate it to 0 so if you solve this you will get the second mode which is 5 1 2 5 2 2 that is equal to minus 0 0.707 and 1 so if you see this was our structure right so we have uh, considered this as a 1 and then it is 0 0.707 so this is somewhat our mode shape is there first mode shape and second mode shape is in negative so it is like so it is one positive and here minus that's why on the negative side so this is the mode shape number two so this is how you can calculate the mode shape using this method if you have any doubt you can ask me i hope the concept is clear if you still have any doubts you you can ask me in the comment box i will surely reply thank you so much for watching the video please like share subscribe the channel thank you thank you so much